my gosh! The tandems! I don't want to be tandeming right now because I want to make my points. Oh, that could have been so bad. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit here, I'm Forza Motorsport 6, for something a little different, I'm here to actually do some drifting in Forza Motorsport 6, but if you noticed on my wheel, I do have the original size Logitech G920 wheel screwed on, without any of the buttons or anything on, those are still on the side, I have taken off my 350 millimeter NRG Innovations wheel because I'm here to try drifting with the original wheel and then switch over to my NRG wheel and see what the difference is and the advantage of having the larger diameter wheel versus the smaller diameter wheel because I never really you know drifted the same car on the same track with the small wheel and then switched it to my big wheel so we're gonna do that have it screwed on now none of the buttons are there all i do is basically drill three holes in there just like i do for my hub adapter the three holes in the hub adapter if you watch my prior videos you understand and uh those three holes to let me screw the factory logitech wheel on it is close to the base but i you know don't think i'll be able to hit my hand so i think we should be good so we're gonna head to a track right now in this mustang and uh we're going to get some slides on here and see, uh, we'll probably just go to, I'd say Lime Rock to start. So we're going to drift with the factory wheel. I don't know the exact dimensions of it. Um, I could look it up and leave it in the you know description box. I'm not entirely sure if you know what the exact dimensions are. But then we're going to switch to the 350 millimeter NRG Innovations wheel, you know, to match my beautiful NRG Innovation seat that I'm in right now. So let's, uh... Let's see what we can do with this wheel first. This Mustang just rips though. So, we do have the hydraulic handbrake set up. You break in. There we go. Ooh. Um. Not gonna lie, I missed my big wheel. <laughs> the feedback is a lot stronger. It feels like on a smaller wheel. But we're not doing too bad. Let's see if we get points wise. We can do like two laps for points wise and then switch to the other wheel so we have a good basic of like points set up. Oh! That did not want to come back to me. I don't know why. I don't think I threw it fast enough. I, I'm noticing I can't turn as quick with this smaller wheel than I can with my NRG wheel. Nope. Like I said, we're going to do two laps with this wheel. Then we're going to switch over to the NRG wheel. Okay, that was that was pretty bad. So, not a not a good first run for the Logitech wheel. Only 10,000 points on that lap. All right, here we go. We're going to enter in. Nice and early. That slide. There we go. Hold that out there. A little clutch kick. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Pretty decent second run. Oof. Hold that. Oh my gosh. I'm so used. Yeah, I'm, I am noticing a difference right now between the small wheel and what I'm used to on the big wheel. So, let's finish this lap off here. See if we can get this turn without spinning out this time. Nope. Nope. Same thing. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nothing happened. Nobody saw a thing. So, I think, uh, I know I probably have a biased opinion on this, but I think I may like my larger wheel. I feel like I have more control with the larger diameter wheel. Ooh. Some of you guys may not like the larger diamond wheel because the feedback's a little less, but, you know, we'll see. So, see how many points we got for this lap. So, 12,666. Oh, that's bad. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do, grab my drill here. And 
take out these three screws. One. Two. Where'd it go? Oh, don't lose that screw. Come on. Ah, found it. Got it. We're good. Take off that screw. All right. Now we're going to get our hub adapter and quick release there. Lined up in that first hole. There we go. Another simple single screw. Don't drop it. All right. Would have been easier if I had another quick release screwed onto that other wheel, but I don't because I didn't plan on really ever using that wheel again, but I wanted to do this little thing to see. Get my quick connect put on. All right, we're good. Oh, we're missing a little bumper. All right. So we found our bumper. We're back in our energy innovation seat. Gonna snap on our 350 millimeter energy wheel and we're good to go. Let's see what we can do with this time with the NRG wheel. Already feels totally different. Oh yeah, much more control. Much more control. Not as many points, I don't think, but remember, we got two laps. Gotta give, gotta give a second to get back used to the bigger wheel. Don't lose those points. Oh, oh I lost the points. So that would have been 3,000 more. But we do have another lap, but I think, I think it's more noticeable that the drifts are more controlled. Except for right there. They're a little more controlled with the bigger wheel. Uh, you can, you know, rotate it a lot faster. The feedback is a little bit less because it is a little bit of a heavier wheel. Not by much. I like maybe, I think it's a pound. I think it's a real, oh. Wow. I was not paying attention. It's like the actual weight difference. Um, I did do a weight to check the weight difference. I believe it is like a pound difference from the factory wheel to this wheel. So we're going to rip this section. And then we're going to do one more lap here. And then we'll probably hop into an online drift hopper to finish this episode off. Because it's always fun to see, you know, all the crashing here on Forza 6. Yeah, that was a that was a, that was was a crappy lap. So we're going to see if we can't better our last lap. Nope. Oh. I feel like I should get a rerun at this on this lap so you know but so by points it looks like I did better with a smaller wheel but the way the drifts are and the feeling and the more control like that is so much better on the bigger rim so I'm going to stick, of course, with my 350mm NRG Innovations wheel, but I may look into getting here shortly a suede or leather wrapped wheel. Change it up a little bit. I have been looking at the Odibakshi's suede and black wheel and the Ryan Literal wheel, but uh, the Odi wheel looks pretty awesome. Um, you know, to change it up a little bit, get a little suede wheel. Not that I don't like my mint green wood grain wheel, but, you know, change it up. Get another hub adapter and, you know, you know, switch it up when I want, you know. So, overall, I think switching to a bigger wheel is a good idea. Um, you get a little more control. The feeling is a lot better. The feedback is a little less. We lost those points, though. The feedback is a little less, and we're gonna crash. But the the feel is there. The you know the more real feel is there. So I'm gonna try and hop into an online session. I will see you guys when I get an online session. 
All right, so we did find an online session here. We are waiting for them to finish. There's only 51 seconds remaining in their race. So, but what I want to talk to you guys about, there's a lot of big comments going around about my wheel setup, asking, you know, you know, is it good to, you know, change the wheel to a bigger wheel? Is it going to break the insides of the wheel? You know, a lot of people have been saying that they've had issues with their wheels. I haven't had an issue with my wheel. I use my wheel almost every single day. I've never had a problem with it, um, and I've been running, you know, this 350 mil you know wheel for i don't know how long so i guess it all boils down to your settings you know turn your settings down a little bit if you are running a bigger wheel to prevent you know wear and tear on the inside motor of the g920 i mean it's a really good base i love my logitech g920 base uh, i think the only other base i'd probably ever go to i i mean i would consider a thrustmaster but a fanatics um that wheel is like primo for you know the gaming world when it comes to you know sim rig setup so but of course that thing's you know a few thousands of dollars so but i guess if you guys are looking to swap your wheel out you know do it you know get the hub adapter get the right hub adapter you know i have tutorials on my video on you know on my channel on what hub adapter i used and such on those lines but you know nrg innovation is making hub adapters do i know when they're coming out not really sure when they're coming out yet but they will be coming out soon for the gaming aspect that's why i've been back and forth with nrg that's why they gave me this very beautiful you know geo black energy innovations bucket seat that i is now part of my wheel setup which makes this setup even more epic so these guys just finished waiting for these guys to finish the reward then we're gonna hop into this online lobby drift hopper crash session demo derby whatever you want to call it here on forza 6 i'm hoping forza 7 does not have the lobbies like this but it will you know forza drivers don't know how to break sometimes but i am super excited for forza 7 to come out if you guys are excited for forza 7 you have a pre-order you know comment down below let me know what you guys are excited about it is sad to see that toyota's will not be coming to forza 7 which has already been known a lot we're gonna go to a random race because i don't really get to one of those tracks so with Forza 7 coming out, Project Cars 2 coming out, and actually, I'm also excited for, you know, Call of Duty World War 2 to come out because, you know, they've gone back to their roots. So there will probably be Call of Duty coming to the channel as well as Forza 7 and Project Cars 2. Um, but I will be hopping back and forth between Forza 6 and Project Cars, getting hyped for Project Cars 2 and Forza Motorsports 7 as well as normal Horizon 3 content. So if there's anything else you guys want to see, don't forget to comment it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see a drift build on Horizon 3, if you guys want to see drift build on here, or if you guys have subscribers like tunes that you want me to try. You know, I'm always up for doing subscriber tunes. That's how I found a good basic tune for what I have on this, you know, GT350R now is, you know, from a subscriber tune that I did on a prior, you know, prior episode. So we got 22 seconds till this goes. So I will see you guys as soon as we hit the track. And we're going to get this demo derby here in Forza 6 set. All right, Circuit de Spa, full course. Here we go. Online drift hopper. Already people just... Ooh, look, it's it's uh, Justin Pollock. And uh, Nate Hamilton as well. They're ripping it through here today. Oh, boy. And once again, it's not drifting if you're in a Porsche. Oh, jeez. And I'm getting bashed from behind already. Okay, or a Ferrari. It's not drifting if you're in a Porsche or a Ferrari. Now, these these two got it, you know. Formula D-inspired cars. Ooh. Like, what is that Porsche doing? Gonna rip this. Reverse entry. We're not gonna hold that. Nope. Oh. So glad those tires were there to stop me dead. I mean, that Audi wagon's definitely getting hit. All right, so this section of the track, not a, not a very good drift part. Wait until we get to the good, you know, curvy sections. We have no points. None. So, we gotta get some points here. Go down the third. Break it down. Here we go. Clutch kick. I wanna bank something. Oh, really? Sorry, that was probably my fault. My bad run gear. I should have been second there. Excuse me. And take those points. Comes a nice turn. Initiated early. Oh my god, don't touch me. Oh my gosh. The tandems. 
I don't want to be tandeming right now because I want to make my points. Oh, that could have been so bad. But it didn't turn out that bad. Oh my god. Alright, that was definitely scary. To say the least. My heart dropped. Oh, okay, 240. I got scared. We don't want to tandem here with Nate Hamilton if we can. Probably not. That's an S15, not a 14, but it still works. Let that MR2 buy. Alright, so I'm getting really scared on a lot of these turns because I don't want to hit people. But I'm not getting any points because I'm doing that, so. And I'm holding the e brake, I think, way too much. I think it's time to switch to a different car. So if you guys have tunes that you want me to try, comment your gamer tag down below and the car that you want me to try, that you have a tune publicly up there for, because I did have. Oh my gosh! So close! Wrong gear. I did have an somebody comment saying they had tunes up but I actually can't find any cars that have tunes for him oh we banked the points so it's kind of hard so make sure you comment down below the car and your gamer tag so that I can find the tune that you have up publicly otherwise you know it's gonna be hard for me to try and find a tune why do we get points for that section that's sad it's a nice section to get points in we're just ripping through the grass there so, like I said, comment the car and your gamer tag down that you have a tune that is public for me to try, and I will gladly try your tunes out. Because maybe I'll find a tune that I like better, and you know, get in contact with you and find out, you know, what you have, and you know, make myself a, you know, tune myself a nice tune. Because I am, uh, oh jeez, I think I scared him. Because I'm not doing good at all right now in this public hopper. I had a couple good, you know, scary tandem sections though. That was kind of fun. Oh, I should have broke, broke way too late. That guy's dead. He just lost it. Ooh, look at that, 400, 500 points and I lost it. That Audi though. All right, so I definitely need to get back into Forza 6 more and drift on here more and more because I was doing good a while ago and, and now I'm, you know, not doing good at all. Could be the track. I could blame the track, but, you know, or I could blame the fact that I don't drift Forza 6 a lot. I mean, it kind of looks cool, though, when I get it right. But this track is very open. There's a lot of, like, high-speed sections that you can't really get points in. So we can try and get some points here. This is where last lap we had the pretty crazy... Oh, my. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I chose the right gear that time. I was in third last time I went to that section. So it was the right gear that time. Pulled that out. Okay. So did a lot better to that section this time. Second. Ooh, kick it in. Just clutch kick, no e-brake. Alright, we need e-brake. I mean, this Mustang does handle pretty well. Oh, jeez. But we lost those points, so. Sad. Sad, Panda. We're good. Ooh. So, like I said, guys. If you want to see more Forza 6, don't forget to comment down below and like this video. As well as subscribe if you have not already done so. I think I kind of want to do a open drift lobby here in Forza 6 with some subscribers. So if you want to, if you guys want to do that or see that, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, as always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Second gear, probably. Just bang it off red line. There we go. Oh boy, save those points. Okay, we're not last though. Like I said, as many times as I've done this, as long as I don't finish last, it's a good day. Oh boy. But with people quitting, that doesn't help me. You know, my endeavor for not finishing last. I need to work on my hand movements. I've noticed I'm crossing over my hands a lot. Straight to fifth. Whatever. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 6. So until next time, guys, I'm going to finish this one minute and 22 seconds off with this 
huge e-brake grab. Until next time, guys. I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.